Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be unboxing Ipsy Ultimate. For those of you who don't know, Ipsy Ultimate is Ipsy's largest subscription. It does retail for $50 a month and they send you eight full size item and four deluxe size samples plus a makeup bag. They do promise a value of at least $250 and you do get to choose one item each month. If you are interested, I do have a referral code that I'll leave down in the description box below. But otherwise, we are going to go ahead and get right into it because there are quite a few products to get through. So when you open the box, it does say discover yourself and then it has orange foam this month and then all of your products. So the first thing I will show is the makeup bag and in the ultimate, you usually do get the largest makeup bag. So this is another little ombre effect one, which is super cute. So it's kind of like this purpley color and then it goes down to yellow very nice on the inside it is yellow and it does have like little flecks of like what do you want to call it like sparkly sparkles little flecks of sparkles that'll work can't think of the word right now confetti little confetti super cute and then it does have a little tassel which is very pretty nice nice light pink color but this is the bag I actually really, really liked all of the bags this month, and I really am glad that I subscribed to all three boxes, even though it was expensive. I have the full set, which is really, really cute. So I am going to go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's this card that does not tell anything, which is really, really annoying, but okay. First item is from Pure Heels by Nature Village, and this is the Pore Clear Black Charcoal Pure Peel Off Mask, and this is 3.53 fluid ounces. I really wish I knew how much this retailed for, but again, there's no booklet. So here is what it looks like. I have actually received this in like a little tiny sample. I don't know if it was through Ipsy or not, but it's cool to have the full size one. So pore clear charcoal peel off mask helps remove impurities and smooth skin texture. So apply a generous even layer to clean dry skin, avoiding eye area, lip and hairline. Leave on for 20 or 30 minutes. Once completely dry, gently peel off from outer edges, rinse off with excess warm water. And this is of course sealed, and I do have a couple of these open right now, so I am going to keep this one sealed. So I am excited about it. I've had, got a couple things from Pure Heels, and it seems like it's a pretty good brand. This is a very decent size, so that's always exciting. Next is from Factor, and this is a water jam cleansing gel balm. And let's see, this is 5.07 fluid ounces. It says probiotic formula. So it says this moisture jam texture provides hydration to the skin when rolled on and cares skin to be elastic. So let's see, take an appropriate amount. Doesn't really help what's an appropriate amount. But anyway, you apply it with a rolling motion to the dry face on face with makeup. Continue for one minute for a hydrating massage and wash off with warm water. So it does say you can use this two ways. It says when used as a morning cleanser, quickly provide moisture to skin and organizes the skin tone for a hydrated and smooth makeup ready skin. And when used as a night cleanser, smoothly cleanses away makeup and dirt and calms sensitive skin. So that's really cool that it's kind of can be used two ways. My box is a little bit dented, but that's okay. If I can get this little thing off, we can see what it looks like. Or I might just have to rip it. I actually really like this packaging. I know it's like clear and see-through, so you can actually see the products and the little air bubble. But I actually, I don't know why I really like this packaging. I know it's so simple, but it's made in Korea. Very cool. Let's see, what does it smell like? It is sealed, but it does have like more of like a naturally fresh scent to it from what I can smell through the seal. So this is actually really cool. I'm excited about this product. So next is from Derm Medicine. Derm Medicine, yeah. This is their Advanced Skincare Weightless Face Moisturizer SPF 25. This is two fluid ounces. So it just says apply liberally 15 minutes for sun exposure, use a water resistant sunscreen of swimming or sweating and reapply at least every two hours. So I of course would have to mix this with an actual sunscreen if I was going swimming. But otherwise it's nice that it's a moisturizer and SPF in one because you could just use this if you're just like outside or something. So I'm actually really excited about this product and I'm glad that I received this one as well. So next is from Murad, and this is their Renewing Eye Cream. This is 0.5 fluid ounces. It firms and visibly reduces dark circles and wrinkles. 
And of course, Murad is a pretty expensive skincare brand. I'm sure this is one of the more expensive items in the box. Here's the packaging. Comes with nice packaging. It's plastic, which is good so it won't break. Yeah, but Murad's a really good brand. I'm impressed with it. I do have a lot of eye creams, so I'm not going to like test this one out or anything yet, but can never go wrong with this brand. It is a really good brand. So next is from Araceli, and this is two eyeliners. So one's in the shade Coffee, which is a brown eyeliner, and one is in the shade Night, which is a black eyeliner. I do not wear eyeliner, so I'm not even going to bother swatching this because it's going to go to waste if I do, but I will probably find someone to give this to because, yeah, eyeliner is just not for me. But this did count as one item, so it's really cool that you got two for one, essentially. So the next item is from Smashbox, and this is their Cover Shots palette in a blaze. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. They have really cool packaging. I've gotten one of these before, actually. It wasn't an Ipsy Ultimate. It was the first one I ever got. It was like the one that was like all glitter. I ended up giving it to somebody because I knew I wasn't going to wear it. So here are the shades. It has a lot of browns and warm shades. I'm debating if I should swatch this or not. I was going to, but honestly, I feel like I do have a lot of these shades and I would probably still even want something like a little bit more neutral. So I'm going to not swatch this for now until I make a better decision about it. So sorry if you were hoping for some swatches, but I just, I don't want to be wasteful, but they do seem like they're really nice shades, but I feel like I really, I don't go for like warm shades too often, though I don't go for super cool either. I feel like I just go for like a little bit of a neutral shade and just call it a day. But next is the item that I actually chose, and when I saw this, I knew I wanted this one for sure. So this right here, I know it's from Sunday Riley, if I could ever get it out. This is their CEO Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. So it says gentle but thorough CEO cleansing oil dissolves and rinses away makeup, debris, and micropollution. Micro pollution. And this is 3.4 fluid ounces. Pl plastic packaging, but it does come in their typical orange packaging. Have not tried this yet, but I am super excited about this. I love when it has like makeup removing products in here because it's something that I need. Even though it is an oil and I have oily skin, I'm still going to give it a try and I'm so glad that I chose that item. So next is a perfume and she was an Anomaly. Okay. 0.16 fluid ounces. Here is what it looks like. I can smell it through here so I don't have to spray it. It has a nice scent. I don't know exactly what the notes are. This is made in France. Let's see. Does it say in English? No. Does not say the scents or like the fragrance notes. So I'm sorry about that. It does smell like it'd be like more of like a sweet florally type of one. I don't like perfumes. I can't handle the scents. I'm just very sensitive to scents. So I am not going to be keeping this, but I'm sure I will find somebody who would like it. So next is from Way of Will, and this is their Invigorating Hand and Body Lotion. One fluid ounce in sweet orange and Elmi scent. Let's see what this smells like. It smells nice. It almost has like an essential oil orange scent to it. But I know it doesn't way of will make oils, essential oils. I'm pretty sure they do. It smells really, really nice. And it's full, it's felt to the top. So this would be good to take traveling because there's a decent amount in here. Down to the last two items. The next one is from IBY Beauty. And this is the Radiant Glow Highlighter in the shade Prosecco. So let's see what this shade looks like. I have so many highlighters, so I don't know if I'm going to swatch this one either. You, I know you're probably like, I came to a video and she hasn't swatched anything yet. And we're almost done. I apologize. But here is the packaging. Though I did get a lot of things that you can't really swatch. Like a lot of skincare. This was a very skincare heavy one. Okay. So here is the shade. Honestly, I feel like I do have the shade a lot. But I haven't swatched anything, so I'll do it. So here is what it looks like. It is a very pretty shade. 
this might be a little bit intense as a highlighter for me though if i kind of sheared it out though this might sit on my skin a little bit but if not it would be a really pretty eyeshadow so i will get use out of this regardless very pretty though they have nice little packaging too just so convenient and cute okay but we are down to the last item and this is from in beauty project and this is their glaze number one lip oil in candy apple so it says for soft plump and supple lips so it plumps hydrates and smooths it's a naturally colored and flavored lip oil that envelops lips in plumping hydration juicy candy apple flavor sweetens with stevia Made with our unique combo of red root oil, pomegranate apple, and a plant-based plumping complex. So here is the packaging. Let's see if it really smells like candy apples. It does have an apple scent. I don't know if I would say like candy apple. Almost got a little like whiff of like caramel apple there. But it does smell very nice and it is apple nonetheless. So here is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I actually don't have that many lip oils, so I'm kind of excited about this. Just got some on my finger, so we'll just throw it right on there. Okay. This was a matte lipstick, so a little shine won't hurt it. I actually really liked this. I think I put this on once when I opened it, and I don't recall it being plumping, but it's very pretty, and I just like how you can just put it like over a lipstick and just gives it like a little bit shine and shimmer. But I'm actually really excited about this. But okay, that was everything that was in this box. Of course, aside from the eyeliner that I definitely won't be using, I can honestly say this was a fantastic box. I'm really happy with everything that I got, and I do feel like it was worth the $50. So again, if you are interested, I do have a referral code that I will leave down in the description box below. If you subscribe to this box or any of the Ipsy boxes, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you got, what products you liked. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.